so man being that this is <laughs> type of camera it is kind of a bummer but the clouds up there look so unnatural very unnatural hey check these so do those clouds look normal to you <laughs> I mean no, they don't. No. not at all huh no. Uh, that looks completely... What does it look like uh, to you? Uh, you know what's good? I stopped because I wanted to drink a water. Oh, good, good. What does it look to you? Look like to you? Well, I think it's some sort of geoengineering taking place. Yeah. But I am... Uh, it's the first time where... Well, I can't really say the first time, but... <laughs> That one is kind of a newer one with the streaks, you know, with the bubbles, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? You know what, there's no two the same clouds in the world as there's no two the same people right. in the world. True, You know true. what, not everything is, is fucking bullshit, like Illuminati or like fucking contrails <laughs> and bullshit. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but you know geoengineering, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. It was first used in uh, Vietnam. In Soviet Russia, I'm from yeah. Europe, by the way, so yeah. I know those things. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah, it that's, does. That's, that's not not news to me. Yeah. Well, a lot of people here haven't heard of it. You know what? But, uh, they've been hitting us hard with it the in, last couple of weeks here. You know what? It's a um, uh, whenever NATO is NATO mm -hmm. countries. Yeah. There's, I think one of the articles is uh, that it permits geo. Right, geoengineering. Geo the the, the United countries the United Nations actually has a symposium on it every year. Uh, oh, yeah? yeah, geoengineering symposium. See, I'm not every that deep. I'm, I'm not that deep into it, but I'm, I'm, I'm European originally. Right. So I grew up without that. And then the country that I grew up in uh, became one of the states of NATO. Okay. And then uh, those things started to happen. In, so now you're part of the just the European yeah, Union, yeah, it's, right? Yeah, it's part. It's part of the. It's about when you we're, when you're referring to the contrails and mm -hmm. all the geoengineering is a part of NATO. Right. It happens in all the Western industrialized countries for the most part. NATO yeah. countries. It, yeah. It's probably over Japan as well. Oh, true. Because Japan is also in NATO, right? Yeah. United States, Canada, I think Mexico. No, it's Mexico in it. Um, France, you know Germany, I, I think so. Sweden, Italy, all those countries. Right. Yeah, in it. America. It's amazing. So, what do you think about it? What do you think is the, you know what is, is there anything we can do about this it's over like 10,000 kilometers no no 10 kilometers uh, up from us what can you do about it right well throw I a don't... stone you want to throw a stone at it <laughs> <laughs> throw a rock? no, <laughs> no. <laughs> see no you don't want to throw it that one's different though i mean that yeah. one looks very odd uh, don't you know some of them are real you know but some some of them are, are made up like for example i go to work and mm -hmm. i as I'm driving to work, I see a contrail, mm -hmm. and then it changes into the freaking clouds. Right. How can a contrail turn into cloud? It's fucking bullshit, man. Exactly, exactly. I work outside. I'm a. I service pools. I, I have a pool service, so I'm okay. outside all day, see. and work, I'm mm -hmm. I'm able to see it happen. Yeah, you, you know. Because you're and, uh, because you're uh, keeping track of it because you constantly are outside. Yeah. You look up on uh, on the thing. Into the clouds. Right, and then they're, you know, they. Or the sky. And you There's see the these, uh, like you can see them fall out of the sky. Mm. Like you see how that mm. is like falling down. It's because. No, it's, it's not falling. It's, it's the wind. Well, it no, is the, the wind. wind. It is the wind, yeah, but I'm saying. Wind. Yes, it is. Look right there. Uh -huh. Those are the crazy ones. That's I like the, You know what? I like the one in, uh, in Southern California. Because um, it has a rainbow. Watch, these will get little rainbows. Yeah, you see the rainbows, kind of like it's uh, uh, metal in it. Yes. Like a metallic yes. stuff in it. Right, right. Gives That's you, how you can really tell. Because uh -huh. it's like that orangish kind of bluish, blue. greenish sometimes. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. I saw that also uh, when I worked up in the desert, like uh, two hours north of LA mm -hmm. in the Central Valley Desert. Yeah. You can see when the sun is like really, really hot in a summer day. Mm hmm. You see that the um, the colors of it. Yeah, and you know those things are uh, naturally. It's only supposed to happen when it's really cold. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, those so the they call they're called sun dogs, the rainbow clouds. There's there's this website. Uh, it's a really smart guy, geoengineering.org, I think. Oh, oh uh, geo geoengineeringwatch.org. Yeah. Something I don't know if there's watch in it, but there's a guy who uh, he's, he's like a craft scientist. Is it uh, Dane Dane Wigington? Maybe, maybe I heard about it, but I don't like go into detail. Yeah, it's uh, just like too much, you know. Yeah, too, but you're aware of it. Yeah, I'm aware of it constantly. Yeah, you know, geoengineering has actually been taking place since the early 1900s, and the farmers. Are you recording all this? <laughs> yeah, the farmers uh, were doing it because at certain crops. Uh, liked rain at the end of the season and certain crops liked it uh -huh. to, to be dry uh -huh. and hot okay so they would go up and seed the it just with their planes you know what i don't go into detail yeah but you're aware of it nice meeting hey, you right on my name just, is rusty just don't tell them that i'm from poland okay I do. <laughs> i'm not i'm not polak okay <laughs> okay right on well have a good day it's nice you talking too, to you thank you very much Later, man.